Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the stiffness of the beams. That what is stiffness and how we can define a lower stiff beam or a higher stiff beam or a lower stiff material or a higher stiff material. So I'm going to explain this topic with the help of an example so it will be more easy to understand and to follow. So first of all, to define the stiffness, of a material of or any kind of object stiffness can be defined as it is the force required to produce a unit deformation in a body it is known as the stiffness of a material or stiffness of a body of an any object so the force required to produce a unit deformation this is very important to note that the force required to produce a unit deformation. It means if I consider, for example, this is any steel bar or any kind of rod made of any material, and I applied the load, for example, here applied the load is a tension load T. So because of this tension, this bar, this rod or bar will try to deform like in this. And when it shows a unit deformation, for example, one centimeter or one millimeter or one inch, or something like that it is one unit then the force this force required to produce this unit one unit deformation will be known as the stiffness of this object now for example if I applied the force of 2 kilonewton to produce a unit to produce what to produce a unit millimeter for example a one millimeter deformation in this object and my force is 2 kilonewton for example this is concrete rod so, my stiffness will be equal to the force divided by the unit deformation, delta I called it. So, force is 2 kN divided by deformation, unit deformation is 1 mm. So, I called it that the stiffness of this material is 2 kN per millimeter. It means 2 kN force is required to produce a unit deformation, a 1 mm deformation. Now, let's suppose I made this material with a steel, I remove the concrete. And I made it with a steel. So now what will happen? Now to produce this a unit deformation, this one millimeter, to produce this one millimeter deformation in steel, more force will be required. And now the force is let's suppose five kilonewton, because steel is higher elastic modulus, and stiffness is related to the elasticity of the material. I will explain it later. So now five kilonewton force is required to produce a unit deformation so now the stiffness will be force divided by unit deformation now the force required is 5 kN to produce the same 1 mm deformation because the material is now steel before was concrete so my stiffness of this is 5 kN per millimeter so now we call that the stiffness of the steel is higher than that of the concrete so this is was just an example to show how we can define the stiffness now here on the left side I have two beams for example I have two beams this one is with concrete and this is with the steel beam made of completely of steel and this is a beam made of completely of concrete now stiffness depends on some of the factor and this in this case in the beam we always have bending stiffness and in this case the stiffness is e i divided by l so the stiffness is dependent on elasticity of the material the moment of inertia of the material the second moment of inertia and the length of the material so if i increase the elasticity of the material my stiffness of the material will increase so if my elasticity is higher if I draw it here my stiffness is also higher and if my moment of inertia is higher it is directly proportioned to so my stiffness is also higher and when the length is higher the stiffness will be lower because they are inversely proportional so these are three factors affecting the stiffness of the object now in this case if you one beam of concrete one of steel for example they have the same length length is for example 5 meter here and 5 meter here and also the cross section of this beam for example is like is like 0.5 meter 
width in 0.5 meter depth. They have the same cross section. So now the only difference between these two beams is the elasticity of the material. A concrete elasticity is lower than that of the steel elasticity. So steel elasticity is very very greater than that of the concrete elasticity. So what will happen due to the higher due to the higher elasticity what we have higher elasticity means higher stiffness so this beam made of steel will show higher stiffness and upon the same load for example here is 10 kN I applied here I also applied the 10 kN so under 10 kN load the beam which is made with the concrete because of the lower elasticity because of the lower stiffness it will show more deformation while the beam made with a higher stiffness or we can say with a higher modulus of elasticity will show lower deformation so it is basically the property of the force the, the force required to produce the deformation in a body is known as the stiffness so the more force required to produce the deformation means a higher stiff material or a higher stiff object in a lower force required to produce deformation means a lower stiff material so hope you guys understand the today lecture and don't forget to subscribe for daily seven engineering videos Thank you for watching our video.